Okay, let us uh, continue on. Forever continue onward. This is jellyfish land of darkness that we are now just living in. Apparently, it's, it's very dark in here. Okay, we did get that last time. Ah, oh, yeah. The water. Although it's coming in from somewhere. I, I don't know where it's coming in from. Apparently it's coming in from up above. like But like below the very top. It's not coming from the sky basically. It's coming from like somewhere else. Somewhere a little weird. Let's figure that out. Maybe uh, it's the land of the... Whatever the hell these creatures were called. Why the heck is it so dang dark? Here we go. We go down low. That's pretty, it's pretty easy enough. Okay, well, that is an edge. Okay. See me over? Actually, tab me as well. Okay, we got some stuff up there. Nothing else that I can see, really. Okay, that's gotta be it. Yep, look at this. I mean, there is like a... bunch of bright rocks. I don't even know what you would call them <laughs> other than bright rocks they are rocks they are very bright there you go oh that is the wrong buan this one Sorry, Ida. I have to go to the market. The water inlet is acting up again. Things are starting to get complicated. I really thought that by holding back the water, but there's nothing to be done. The basins are empty. I think it's time for a more radical change. What would have happened if we'd let the water flow freely from the start? I'm boring you with my musings, but sometimes I get the feeling we made a big mistake. Hmm. There's a pier collapsing in the boat men's district. Do you think you could take care of it? Hey John, things are non-stop at the moment. I'll have to go fishing for a new team to shore it up. Yasa is already over at the Two Pillars site. As for the other stuff, I don't know what to say. What's done is done. Alright, I'll pick up the supplies I need and then I'm off to the boat men's district. How many have I missed in the middle? None! None missed! Oh, well, that's impressive, I like to think. Alright, I'll be flying around. Hello, jellyfish. Don't mind me, just a human being. Or, I don't even know if I am a human being. This is beautiful, though. And it's one thing you cannot deny about this place. It is pretty as hell. The way it is. Hey, big guy, I hope you are well. You know, I still don't like the thought of you perched above that basin. It's too big. This is the basin? Oh, this is basin of full of water. Well, that is interesting. First of all, that basin, it's too big. We just aren't made for the open air. You'd be better off in our tunnels where it's cozier. You might have already heard, but Anne's barge is finally back on dry land. They can't drive it anymore, they say, but you should see them now. 
they've never been so busy they're working at a sour rescue center or some uh, such thing if you can believe it who'd want to save sour seriously they always look so disgruntled like they're judging us but things haven't been easy for Anne, and they seem happy again that's what matters your father played a song for you it was beautiful may the currents be kind to you wherever they are so they're all chilling at, at the basin this is this is the basin It, it, it's very big. They were saying it's big and I do agree with them. It's, it's a big ass basin. Talking about the basin being empty. Which does indeed suggest that it, at some point it was full. Aha! Hello. I don't even know what you are, lizard. There you go. Climb it up manually. Okay. Tab me. Okay, but you're probably going over there. I see a little underground area. I mean, if I see a plane... I'm not just gonna, like, not go there. No, if... If I see it, if I know it exists, you know I'm gonna go over there. Hello, little buddy. I'll be hitting a ride on you if you don't mind. Then I'll be hitching a ride on you. Okay. Rock bugs. Almost there, rock bugs. Just a little bit more. Tired, I understand. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you, rock bug. Come on. What do you mean there's nothing? No note. Slam it down. Dab it up. Get on my head. Over there. I'm gonna get down there. Don't you worry. We are the water surveyors. In the dark tunnels, we guide, clean, navigate rivers and streams. So the water called forth in the day and the sky can fill, nourish, cherish all living things. But they, they stopped being, you know, good people. They, but they were hoarding the water. Okay, bad people. Bring me over. Holy. Alright. Yep, it is. It is the right. It is the right place. Yo, it's a little hard, bro. Be cool. Shell. I believe that this is why I'm here anyway for the shell. Put it here, but you can hear. Water tanks. Cutting. Perhaps making food. Yep, definitely making food, because that's a kettle. People write notes, surveying the water. I, I would not like to be here, by the way. Those, those do not look safe. 
just like pieces of wood tied up on the edge of this thing. No, no, no. You you can stay there if you like that. Not me. I often wonder what would have happened if the rain had returned. Would we still have met, or would we have led parallel lives elsewhere? Each of us unaware of the other's existence. As much as seeing the great basin dry up more with each sleep fills me with despair, I can't help but be happy by your side. Who did you meet, bud? The, the, the girl? The, the water tower girl? What's her name? Bianca? Whose letters I'm reading? Whose logs? I missed one. I'm very mad about that. I mean, the worst part is I knew it when I left that place that I'm, I'm definitely gonna miss something. There's no way you don't, right? But the basin, although they, they were down there, you can see they grew like crabs and stuff. Take me up. Why'd you go E? Okay. Oh yeah. It's probably uh, right up there. But the actual path is broken. Surprising. Lamber of this. Rock crevasse. Nothing? Nada? What about a little bit of... There you go, and then we can run across. There you go. Sometimes you gotta swing, bro. Okay, nothing here. I'm I'm there. <laughs> this is like the last place. I do love growing plants whatever the hell I want to. Look at this. This grew a bunch of plants. They all die off. Don't seem to die off. Why do you make noise? You wanna be played with? I'll play with you. Okay, get bounced, bud. This? No. <laughs> The answer is no, it's not. Okay. I mean, we're almost at like the very, very top. Pretty top.
Oke. Okay. Love to see that. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. It did do be automatic though, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, with nowhere else to go, I might as well blow on it. Alright, let's, let's, let's fit, fit, fit our freaking shell in there. Crack open the cold one. This where the water was flowing in from? I mean that's three. There's still two more. Oh, we got the little red ones coming through. The tiny little spirit jellyfish that make you jump super high. The whole thing gonna open up? Oh, we're gathering them all towards me? Oh, it's gonna be good. They're gonna fly me straight up. Okay, but there's more light here. I like that. Oh, I'm over here now. Eh, hey, okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. No, I don't want to go there. Let me explore first, bro. I'm like very. There's a lot of wind. And like a shit ton of plants are still growing here. That means there has to be water up there. Chapter 5 Mirage. Well, that's not good. Mirage is usually. They're usually not like a good thing. Right? They're usually like a trick. Got the light, but I mean, people were living here for sure. Canals or whatever, this, these are probably canals, but like nothing back here, really. I mean, there's like a little house. That is sad. I would have figured there would have been one letter here. Okay, yeah, well, someone has nicely put some metal. Okay.
Right, because the wind is blowing upwards. Pushing me nice and up there. Okay, that's a boat. Okay. Wowie. <laughs> Can do some uh... Where am I in problem going up? I don't know. Oh, I'm going that way. Honestly, it makes a lot more sense. Don't worry about the queue. I'm fine. There you go. A freaking propeller? Yo, it's still spinning. Kind of crazy, don't you think? There you go. That's a little rest stop right here. Not that hard, man. Okay, we rest up. Let me just just hang out here. Because <laughs> I'm on it, it spins much faster when I'm down. That makes sense. Now it's gonna be fighting against gravity. It's gonna be a little slower. Still gonna turn. Because of the wind? Yeah, cool. Okay, there you go. I'm back on plant based handholds. I'm not gonna fall, game. Don't gotta worry about me like that. I'm cool like that. Well, I meant to fall that time. Okay, that's uh, the road's all planned out. Don't worry about it too much, okay? Probably do this. Hey. 
Bloody hell, okay. I will make my way over there. I just need to grab onto that. Grab it! There you go, finally. Bloody hell. I hate I hate it. <laughs> I was there, man. Just gotta have more patience than that. Can't be having no patience. And then you put your hand out there. There you go. Okay, I think that's that's where we're going. I don't know what the hell I'm doing or why. Okay, we gotta wait for the wind to turn around and the wind will carry us. Okay, we just gotta let go when the time being comes. Problem is I'm holding on to the two mouse buttons and that's causing reset. Like we don't wanna reset, you know. No no just fucking go bro. Why would you even stop? Come on. There you freaking go. Hard enough. Oh my god, there's a freaking shell. Is that it? I swear to god if that's it. I don't want just shells. Okay, I mean they had nice little houses up here. It's probably cold as hell. Super freaking windy. And that does not look safe at all. Well, you know, it's it's something, I guess. Oh, it's freaking... It's raining. People ringing bells for little storms or something. Hey, storm's coming. Let's not die, everyone. 
careful. Don't need to freaking dust in my hands. One there, green one there. I don't even know, man. It's probably more. Well, I mean, that's good and all, but not really what I was looking for. I was looking for more like uh, Bianca letters or Bianca like logs or like letters. the hell is that making that noise uh, it's like a freaking wall of shit Hey, what's up with the wall of garbage that was just there? Who the wall of shit, bro? I ain't into that sort of crap. Okay, well, this seems like this is option. Ah, it's, maybe it's not, bro. Because I mean, there, there's a climbing thing. Climbing things are usually not optional. Wow, this... I mean, if this area is optional, it's, it's quite big. I don't know what's making those noise. The Jusant continues to carry the ocean away. Last we heard on the sun side, the temperature keeps on rising. Here a storm is raging and doesn't seem to be letting up. Everything around us is coming to a standstill or maybe we've been at standstill for too long. We won't be able to nest at the mill much longer, that I know, but we can't leave without putting up a fight. In the meantime, we've entrusted our little old to my sibling. They're traveling downward with their family like most of the other height dwellers. Old should be safe under the stone. I already miss my little nestling smile. We'll see each other again when the clouds decide. They're sending their kids down. Okay, I guess there is still... Fred is still safe, I suppose. Not the way! Look at this! Wow, 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 what is this? I missed another one. Go to hell. I dive in, swim, become. I am the source, the river and the ocean. You are my world. Dive in. What are you? <laughs> so I don't understand what you are. I understand you're saying words, but uh, they, they don't make any sense to me, you see. But whatever. Oh, this was, this was a nice little distraction. Uh, back to work. We have to find the, the big water creatures. They actually exist. Greetings. I waited for your crafts people to arrive several streets ago, but they never landed. When can I expect you? We are patching things up as best we can, but the wind is carrying away everything in its path and the roof won't hold out much longer. The situation is getting urgent. 
I hope this reply doesn't reach you too late. The relays have been malfunctioning recently. I apologize, but due to the storm, we are no longer able to travel to your altitude. The danger is too great. My adv only advice is to take shelter. An emergency shelter is being set up here for you height dwellers. May rain fall on you and your loved ones. You have my full support. Well, that is the final letter. We missed one, two. I hate that. One here and I don't know if we'll find these. Maybe we will. But hey, the top is like, it's right there. See the very top. A little more climbing. Okay. What is wrong with you, bro? Yeah, 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 whatever. You can't stop plant growth, can you? Here you go, nice little rest spot. Nice little sheltered home. Yeah, okay, they're, they're like you, but much bigger, I'm guessing. Right? They have to be like my little guy here, but like... Just a lot larger, that's why they make such loud noises. What the hell, what the hell are they doing up there? <laughs> yeah, obviously there were people. Underground areas. Hello, she made new logs. Becca was right. The water creatures were incredible. Oh, huge. So, ballads are real after all. It was their song I'd hear sometimes between gusts of wind. We only just caught a glimpse of them, but once we did, nothing else mattered. Everyone went quiet, watching them slowly disappear into the storm. For a long time, no one moved a muscle. Arlo shook his head, staring into space. For a moment, he looked like he'd lost his bearing, same as the rest of us. After the astonishment came the feverish preparations. Around me, the rope team got moving, sharpening their weapons and scanning the clouds. We needed to capture at least one of those flying water tanks. Even Soul ended up grabbing a harpoon. What other hope do we have of bringing the water back? He sounded almost apologetic, but I am the one who's sorry. What are, what are you doing? She's gonna do something. Okay, I think this can be... Wah, wah, too sad, too bad. There's no achievements in my life anyway, so... Going... It's a fucking ballast! Right? That, that's a ballast! In the clouds, I lose my way, wandering through valleys of icy... icy grey. In the clouds, the water watches me stray, stay. Will I find my loved one again one day? The, uh, the, the ballast making all these things? I missed two of the little paintings. <laughs> kind of weird if the, the ballasts were painted. The image would make some sense, I suppose, because like they're using his powers to like light them up or whatever, which would kind of. Suggest that you know they were the ones, but anyway, they saw the ballasts out here. Maybe this. Oh, this is the one I missed. Every sleep, I tried to convince Arlo, Soul, and the others to stay. I even threw their harpoons away, at least the ones I could reach. But they were so determined to catch a gi sky giant and return with its water to go back the, to the way life was before. 
but the way life was before is what brought us here. They ventured into the storm to hunt and never returned. I waited for them for a long time. Lost at sea, I grieved for them. Who else but me? They may be gone, but I treasure their memory. I still remember Nicaea's advice. Souls laugh. Arlo's furrowed brow. Sometimes my thoughts turn to my parents, to M, Gal, and Met. I wonder where they are and where they are going. If their thoughts drift up here sometimes, they live within me too. At first, I kept track of the har- of my harvests, but as time went by, I ended up losing track. To survive, I became an earth scratcher too. What would you make of that, Brekka? I am probably doing it all wrong, but things are growing. Not bad for a girl from low tide. Note to self, I'll have to divide up my garden beds if I want to have enough heart attack for the cycles to come. I don't know when I decided I'd stay up in the crow's nest. It just happened. I'm happy here. I wish I could talk to the young Bianca who left low tide, who only ever thought of leaving, moving, too impatient for a stationary world. He'd probably find this quite ironic, but this climb, already so long ago now, taught me to live in the present moment. It took me a while, but I finally put down roots. With each passing sleep, I understand it more clearly. The tower needs me, needs us all. It needs us to change, and if we have to change, our way of being might as well start here. I never belonged in low tide, a lighthouse keeper in an oceanless world. But since I met the ballasts, I feel like I've found something I didn't know I'd lost, a fragile link to something bigger than myself, a mutual respect. I'm nothing compared to these water giants who swim through the storm, but they look at me with interest and curiosity. They watch me when I carve my scraps of wood, when I bring in the harvest, when I write, as if to learn or to remember. I want to stay here in case someone else is crazy enough to try to find them. They watch over me and I watch over them in turn. As the battles draw near, the cliffs wake up. Even I feel like I stand taller and feel lighter, more alert. Younger even? Ah ha ha, these arthritic joints have creaked for a long time now, but you get the idea. I wonder how long the ballasts kept me company in my Spartan existence. They eventually left one by one. I know they're out, they're out there somewhere, though. <laughs> Great. One of them stayed. It comes to see me from time to time, like it's watching over me. We watch each other grow older. We go about our business knowing the other's there, and that's enough. And it gives me someone to talk to. I'm happy. I'm where I'm meant to be, where I needed to be now, Bianca. Am I bringing Bianca back up the tower? Is this is, is she, she going into a ballast now? Is that what's going on here? I mean, yeah, she was living here, obviously, because she set up a whole tent and everything. Because, oh, he's just a small ballast and I was watching over Bianca. No, I'm guessing Bianca turned into a ballast. That would make a lot more sense. But, but you know. <laughs> the whole scheme of things, suppose it would. So. Okay, back it up. Pressed up, and then we keep it moving. Don't stop, won't stop. So are these the parts that Bianca was... Is Bianca still alive up here? That is a question, isn't it? Yo, Bianca, this shit is not safe. Well, I mean, if you had this, I suppose it's more safe. Come on. We're going to the very ass top, so going to be wind there. No doubt about it, but I can hear the ballast. I think it's there's only one ballast probably. Secondary feet on. No need, buddy. 
no freaking need. I'm up here. Okay. Where they, are you growing things here? That does not seem like a daily, like a daily commute. Can die any day. doing up here <laughs> where are your farms or whatever you said you were growing things I mean things are just growing here normally guess it's wet enough or whatever to grow all right let's blow it see what happens Uh, it's spinning. It's a giant wind power plant. That's, I mean, that's a ballast symbol. Sort of like a ballast shape or whatever on it. More plants are growing. It's good. Ah, uh, it just got it just stuck. Oh, okay, there you go. Well, there's one more left, apparently. A palace is gonna pop up. a ballast translucent looking thing oh it is oh it's it's solid <laughs> it's actually like a whale are you like a baby one of those because like you're, you are blue this thing is blue man Why do you got net on your back? Was she leave? Oh, she was probably living on top of you. Want me to grab on? Was a little off sync, but <laughs> whatever. We got ourselves our own little flying taxi. How are you gonna? How are they gonna capture that? By the way. Oh, hey, a little windy here. A little, little freaking windy, bro. I'm, I'm in control. Okay, um, I mean, I'm gonna say... Rest it up. Go. Well, that's my last little anchor point, so... I hope I'm up there. Hey, hey little boy! Yeah, get off there, man. Oh, I mean, we were still not at the very top, by the way. <laughs> then still, there was a bit to go, but he'll, he'll take me the rest of the way. Up above the clouds so high. 
like a diamond in the sky. Oh wow, what the hell is up there? Dylan, he's sleeping? What the hell happened to him? They're breathing. Okay, that's that's the very very top. Oh, it's made full of ice. There's the last tower. Is that all the water in the world is just have we have we are in space? Are you dying? Did you die to bring me up here? What the hell? Dead. What the hell, man? You could have just left me on the side. I would have climbed up. I would have just die. Whatever. Dude, so nice about it. Was, it, was, it was his slash her time. Can I can I get control? I really want to pause. Are you dead? Are you just tired? You could just be tired. Fine. Can I, just give me control, game. Game, give me control. Thank you. Chapter six. Give me a damn sec. Okay, let's finish this hopefully. Cause it needs to be done, cause this is gonna go tomorrow. Are you dead? He's dead, bro. I mean I guess my big guy big guy is dead too, so I mean this is a lot of snow. You know? Snow is water frozen water so I mean we have we have water excuse me ah uh, that's not good okay okay there you go that's, that works can I just nope there is no dropping down this is another one of the freaking whales Are they all? They're all dead here. Why? Why are they all dead? Why are they just beaching themselves like real whales? For what? Why? Are they? Are they? They're dumb. What the hell is going on? Were they trying to use this thing? Because I mean, they said that one by one they were disappearing and they were somewhere in the clouds. Nah, man. One by one they were disappearing. They're all freaking dead. Hold the ballast tight in the crater. A faint glimmer. It's alive, I guess. That's all right. Walking. I mean, there, there were quite a few of them. Not as many as I thought, but maybe there are still more. Just you know, flying around. Ones in this area out of all in it up here. Possible. Or maybe it's so snowy here because these guys all came here and died. But then why would they do that? It's all uh, it's all a mystery, it's all mysterious, unknown. Some weird technology stuff going on here. Uh, what am I gonna do? I'm stuck again. <laughs> no! Thank you. Did 
he can't use his power. How must I climb? Oh, that's, that's a lot more light now. I, I have no idea where to go. Bro, I'm stuck. Okay, there you go. <laughs> what the hell am I doing, bro? I get that it's so emotional or whatever. Ah, maybe I'm 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 going right here. Okay. I'm gonna put him in there. We have no rope now though. Oh no, we just put him inside. Right, right, right. It's indeed a container. Ah, we climb onto the... Okay. Like it was made for this. Rest up. Are we supposed to light them all up? Oh, I'm basically dead, but <laughs> let's not worry too much about that. I think maybe I am supposed to light them all up. Kind of weird. Or not. Okay, you just, you cannot light them all up. Are you jumping like a mad man, bro? Oh my lord. This. Yeah, not all of them have those little balls. That you can grab onto. Go. Now that one definitely has the balls. And it's quite easy to get there too. Oh, it's a combo deal. Okay, and then we use this so we don't fall. And we're up there. Cannot see. Fine, I don't need to see. What do you need eyes for? You don't need eyes for anything. Am I just gonna do that? Can I not just walk up? Nope. Oh, they all they all light up. Be nice. Where am I going? Ow. 
Let's try that again. Okay, we should go. I don't think any other other ones have. Activatable thing. Well, that definitely is activatable. Okay. Okay. Despite the at the climb, huh? You know what? Probably swing my ass up here too. I have like no energy, bro. all of them bro ah us to cross over activate you uh, is it just the ones with the borders around them no no that's obviously not the case because a lot of these ones do not have the borders No matter. They're all flat boys. Thank you for the nice arrow pointing upwards, telling me where to go. This would have been a harder one to get to if I couldn't just jump to it. Hopefully I could. Ah, maybe to open it we do need to do what I thought. Which is hit them all. Or maybe that's just a just a point to do to anchor yourself on. Yep, and this is the This is actually where I gotta go. Well if that's where you gotta go, then that's where you gotta go. Do 
be moving around. Oh, right. We... Boom. Hello, little boy. But without him, we don't we need his power to, to activate it. Oh, he's, he's getting up. With his dying breath, will he do it? We need the ballast to, to use some power, bro. Why am I not using your powers? Just because it's cold up here? It's too cold? You're freezing? I'm guessing that makes sense. They are water creatures. The ice is breaking. I mean, it's, the ice is breaking. Something. Maybe all the other ballasts will come alive? Oh, they are! They are not dead, they were just frozen. Well, that is something. Keep doing it! Keep blowing on the horn, bro! Yeah, I would, I would not be stopping, by the way. They're all activated. I did, I did activate them all. Just show them flying off into space or whatever. Boom, they're all active. Bro, I'm all gonna come in from space. Oh, is that all the water in the world is just, is just stuck in the air? Well, are you also going to go up into space with them? Obviously, you got a baby one of those. Kind of slightly different, but... They're not really actually very different. Go ahead, bud. That's why I'm guessing I brought you here. Yeah, 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 go up there and like, I don't know, send the water down or whatever. There's our one, look at that, all the grass growing on him. Yes, so is that literally all the water in the world is just, is just floating up there for whatever reason? Yep, it's raining now. Apparently, we are activated because of the water. Yay, yeah, it's raining. But I mean, all the people are just already dead. So, hopefully they can come back from wherever the hell they went off to. And okay, that that's it. Juicent, Water Piper, complete the game. Juicent from Don't Nod Studios, Paris. Honestly, artistically, damn beautiful game. Sound design, it had some good stings. Not nothing that that special, but you know it's fine. Sound is really again pretty good. I wouldn't say this was an extraordinary sound, but you know, pretty good. Visually, it was great. In terms of animation, I mean, there were the gameplay. I mean, there were some. Annoyances, I have very big ones. Number one, um, I already said this collectibles. I'm the kind of guy who wants to get all the collectibles. But if I'm missing one of them, I want to be able to go back and get it. I don't I don't mind backtracking that much. I mean, it's my fault I missed something. But as soon as you're like, well, you can't backtrack, 
and you go a little bit ahead and you're like, okay, well, I guess I'm not going to get them all. Then I guess I'll just not get them all. That was a bit annoying. Other than that, pretty good game. Visually damn beautiful. Settings many were a bit weird. It felt like graphically needed like so much. I mean, I have a 3080 Ti, I have an i9, 3900K. Like I should be able to handle this game max settings no problem, but I couldn't. I had to put on DLSS and all sorts of stuff, so maybe some uh, optimization might be in order, but that's fine. You know, I just I was able to do that. Slight annoyance there, and the annoyance with the with the pickup. The story was kind of, you know, we get it. No water. Kind of interesting story, but we, we get the gist of it. The whole uh, world building and stuff. Pretty nice. But yeah, I guess if I had to give rate this game, I would give it like a. Uh, I mean, it didn't do anything super special. The climbing mechanic was nice, but like, you know, it, it was fine. It's nothing extraordinary. It's fun, like, whatever, I guess. I would give it a 7.5. I would give it an 8. But, I couldn't backtrack. If I, if I was able to backtrack or they had some way to let me know, hey, you're missing a collectible, I would have lacked it more. Maybe I missed it myself. I don't know. It's possible. But I did not know where the fair it was or how to get to it, so therefore I I got a dock a point for that, like half a point I would say. Seven point five seems fair for this game. Short, nice story. It knows what it's doing. Not, nothing insane. Visually, not, not like, again compared to Cocoon. Cocoon was visually also I would say pretty impressive. And the puzzles, man, the puzzles made you feel so smart in Cocoon. The puzzles here was like climb. Okay. <laughs> Like, okay, sure, it's like pretty obvious, like pretty easy, and I, I know it's not meant to be tough, right? Meant to be more relaxing game, which is fine, you know. They did well with that. Yeah, 7.5, it's not bad, man. It's not a bad game. I just wish I could backtrack. If I could backtrack and, like, get all the collectibles, because I'm a big nerd for collectibles and getting them all and knowing if I have missed something and going back and trying to find it. That's what I want. But, whatever. They did not have that. One of the best games I've played for collectibles, by the way, Far Cry 2. I, I mean, maybe it's just because of nostalgia. But Far Cry 2 has such a beautiful system, you could find gems, right? And they had a clear number marking, like, hey, each little quadrant of the map has, like, oh, this area has 5 gems, this is 7 gems, 11 gems. And then when you open up your map, you have a little, like, even in your vehicles, I believe, you had like a GPS, like a little radio thing, which had a green light, which would start beeping, like very slowly first, if you have like around, and you know like, okay, in this quadrant there is some, so you just roam around until the light starts beeping, then you keep going, moving around until it starts beeping harder and harder, and then it becomes solid when you're looking right at it, and then it's like, okay, you find it, that's beautiful, I love that. You know, it, help, it makes me want to explore the map, find all the secrets. Again, that's an open world game. This is not really open world, it's more linear. It's like some branching paths to get some side stuff, which is fine. I, I really enjoy these kind of games. I just wish there was more collectible stuff. That's it. It's, it's a small gripe. But when a game is this small, small gripes become kind of big gripes because, you know, I wish, I wish they had thought of that. Maybe before you like blow the horn, I mean even before you blow the horn, I hadn't blown any horn, I had just gone down like a certain area and I think I couldn't go back the first time. I tried for so long to go back. If I were able to go back, I would have, I would have, this game would have gotten a solid 8, but no. After that I kind of just lost interest. I was like, okay, well if I'm not going to get all the collectibles anyway, I might as well just, just go. You know, I'll get, I'll try to get what I can, but if I miss something, I won't really cry about it. I'm not going to spend too much time searching. But yeah, it's a pretty good game. I would I would recommend it honestly if you have some time. This could be a fun little little diversion. Although I would definitely much prefer playing Cocoon over this. If you have not played Cocoon, if you're tossing up between Cocoon and Jason, play Cocoon. Cocoon is insane, bro. Cocoon was Cocoon was a very good game. I mean, I think the, the 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 whole fact that the puzzles made you feel like a damn genius. When I'm pretty sure they were not that hard, but. I mean, it, you feel like, oh my god, I'm so smart. You know? 
But that was enough to push it over the edge. In this one, you never feel like a jeep. You're like, okay, it's climbing. It's literally as easy as it is. And like, it, there's some satisfaction to climbing. You know, you see a whole path, you slowly get over, you can climb, and it's it's fun. But like, not enough. You know. Fine. How how many people worked on this dang game? I thought it was like an indie game. They had like a whole damn team working on it, like a massive team, apparently. And I get it, like they have a lot of like third party stuff, but still. Okay, here we go. Special thanks, production babies. Production pets. Ah. Also, these credits are pretty bad. You know, just music with credits. Just like barely anything. You could give me like little drawings or like something. Story is obviously the most preferred one, but you know, maybe you see them coming back to the tower or something. Mid Unreal Engine makes sense. Pretty game. Unreal Engine games usually are very pretty. But wasn't Cocoon made in Unity? That's pretty good too. And we're done. Thank you for climbing. Aww. Well, thank you, devs. And we're back. Oh, and we do have chapters now. Oh, shit. They did do it. They did do it. Man, they missed a note here, see? Migration. Two out of two shells, four out of four rock, three out of three, one out of one spinny. I missed a note. I missed a note here as well. I didn't miss any of the other stuff here, huh? In Solstice as well. Also, the kind of the rushing now. Yeah, see, conversions, I missed a note, and I missed a, a drawing, which is like, big deal. Yo, there was one of these. Oh my god, I missed so much. In Mirage. Okay, you know what? Maybe this is not the last one. Maybe I will go back and get it all. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is only one paper here, one paper. I can just look online and see where it is. Obviously, Mirage has a lot. Mirage, I think I just missed a bunch of areas, apparently. Probably. And then, yeah, Lizzie has nothing, which is fine, obviously. Okay. I guess I'll see you in the next episode of this one, and then I'll move on to the next one, because I'm going to get all the damn collectibles.